This video will help you use the Active Diagnostics tool, which is included with all products that run on the SolarWinds Orion platform. This tool will help you more quickly determine the root cause and fix SolarWinds software problems. Active Diagnostics can be used to fix problems by yourself, or you can send the diagnostics output to our technical support and engineering teams so they can more quickly fix product issues. The tool is included with your SolarWinds product installation. To find Active Diagnostics, go to Program Files, SolarWinds Orion, Active Diagnostics folder. If you're running an older version of the software, you will run Orion Diagnostics from the SolarWinds Orion program group. Anytime you start the Active Diagnostics tool, the latest version will be downloaded. Users not connected to the internet may obtain the latest version of Active Diagnostics with any Orion product update, or our technical support team can provide you with access to this tool. From here, you can click Run Active Diagnostics. After opening the tool, there are three options. The default option runs a full scan. The second option listed is to open previous tests you saved so you can view the results. The third option is for selecting specific tests you would like to run instead of doing a full scan. Let's do a full scan, which takes around two or three minutes. As the scan runs, you can see the progress, the tests that are running, and the results as the tests are complete. You are also able to skip some of the tests or cancel the scan. The scan is complete, and we can see there are three potential issues to investigate. The first is an issue that is impacting existing functionality. There's a problem with the NetPath functionality reaching out to this endpoint. This is a more advanced issue which will require engagement with support. This information is very helpful for support or engineering to know exactly what is going on to help diagnose and fix the issue. The second and third issues are not impacting functionality but show there is a performance degradation. The first says that the SQL Server is on a virtual machine. We have specific recommended system requirements for placing SQL Server on a virtual machine. The text shows a short description of the issue, and you'll notice we have a knowledge base article that documents in more detail the requirements so you can check them to determine if the database is meeting recommended system requirements. If you'd like to share the findings of your scan with SolarWinds support or any users on THWACK, you can simply export the results into a simple file. Here you can also see a summary of all the tests that were run and the results of the tests. You can see the three issues that were found on the prior page. Going back to the start page, when we click on the second option, you can see that you simply import prior test results to view. We recommend you spend two or three minutes running the active diagnostics tool prior to contacting technical support so that your problem can be resolved as quickly as possible. 